Hello and welcome everybody, King Demps here and we are doing a VOD review, demo review, whatever the heck you want to call it today. Um, we're doing Simple from IEM Cologne, this was requested uh, in a comment to my previous Nico demo review, so here we are, we're doing it. Uh, obviously one of the best players in the world, the best player in the world of last year, by a pretty long margin. And he's taken a nice aggressive peak mid and second mid to get info, and now he's seen them all mid. So Navi will probably get Boomich and Bit to push down Banana very shortly. I think Simple's going to get caught here. No, he's okay. Interesting that FaZe haven't considered him to be here. Oh, and he's got nothing done at all. Yep, well, not the finest pistol round, didn't get anything done there, but... It was a fast play at mid, and I think Na'Vi were a little bit slow to push down Banana there, so kind of understandable. Just going to see a force up from Na'Vi here. Pretty standard stuff. I assume Simple, yep, Simple will pick up a Deagle, as he likes to do. We're going for the 3B lean at the start of the round. Pretty standard stuff. I suspect Simple will play pretty passive. Yeah, I think they're going to be lean early and then probably four-man stack A. I would suspect that's what Na'Vi are going to do. I think you've got to do something in a pistol round like this and sitting passive on the bomb sites is not going to cut it. So, yep, here comes Boomich on the rotate. They're going to leave Perfecto in B on his own and he'll probably just play B for info, to be honest. He's probably not going to play it too aggressively. So, yeah, not much happening here. Let's just speed through. It looks like FaZe are setting up. Yep, FaZe are setting up for the B hit, so Simple's not going to get involved in this until it's on the rotate. Uh, Na'Vi should have a go. It's 5-4. Um, this was part of the strategy. I don't know about... I mean, I guess they had to give the bomb site up, so I don't think anybody was there. Perfecto got a one for nothing trade, so not too bad. Um, but we're going to have a tough time here, Na'Vi. Not a lot of utility. And they're not even using like any of it. Looked like one of those was on his head there. Good shot. And they're just going to try and take some guns away now. I think they're going to be able to grab that AK. Yeah, I think Perfecto's still waiting for it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's not an AK, sorry, it's a Galil. Not too bad, recovered a rifle. They've got a few sets of armor, a few upgraded pistols to work with in this round, which is just a kind of freebie. And they dented the phase economy a bit, took away uh, a rifle and a Mac-10 and forced some rebuys. So, not too bad. Not much to say for simple, to be honest. Um, first round, probably could have got more done, but they were kind of all looking at him by the time he got involved in the play. And then, yeah, second round rotating into a... Uh, a bomb site that's been clean, relatively cleanly taken. Not much you can do, really. Probably gonna have a peak mid. Yeah, of course he is. Not much to be found there. Pretty dangerous repeat to take. Oh, did you see that? So the reason Simple's kind of ready for that um, flick up there is because he heard the footsteps of rain jumping on the railing. Um, that's kind of a problem with doing that jump. In the one hand, you're giving the enemy team info intentionally. You're letting them know that you're there. So it's not always... Giving up the info is sometimes a benefit because it makes the enemy team think, okay, we need to stick around this side of the map. And when the rest of your team is going to eventually hit B, then yeah, it makes even more sense. So he's rescued this Galil and he's coming in for the retake on Banana. Again, this is kind of doable for Na'Vi. Um, they have a three on three. They're coming in split. Bit of time is ticking though, and no kit. I think they're going a smidge slow, but probably not. Nothing going to happen here anyway. They're just going to try and damage the economy. Good shot from Simple. Yeah, really, really nice. Takes away two more rifles. Three K for Simple on the round. Is he going to get lost? Not quite unlucky. Just, just very close to controlling that Galil spray there and taking all the rifles out. So this puts FaZe's economy in a very awkward spot. Um, they can buy up here, but they're going to have virtually nothing left in the tank. Um, yeah, they're going to have like very, very minimal. They've got a little bit on twist and a little bit on rain. They can put cobble together some sort of force. But if they lose this one, then it's going to be looking a little bit rough on FaZe's economy. Na'Vi also have nothing in the bank, so this is uh, an important round. But Na'Vi are also working with loss bonus, important to remember. 
So it looks like someone's going to go play apps with this orb on the first round. Um, they have spotted him towards there, so, so I suspect FaZe know or, or will have a good idea that Simple might be here, but it's tough to say. Simple's going to move all over the place in this half. But the way Rain and Olaf are clearing quite diligently together this app's position makes me think they're cognizant of the fact Simple might be here. But this is so good from Simple not sitting on the angle. There you go, Rain and Olaf don't see. Like, the timing on that is so, so good from Simple. Did you see that? Olaf and Rain set up a double peak on that angle, and then just as, the th as they've done that double peak, like, just after it, Simple then peaks. That's all internal timer in Simple's head, telling him, like, when somebody's going to be looking at that, when they're not going to be thinking about it. Like, that's just... And this is going to be something you'll probably see throughout this demo and something that separates people like Simple, Nico particularly, um, and obviously I assume Ziwoo, but I haven't watched too many like POV demos of Ziwoo from start to finish. Um, they just build an amazing picture in their heads of what's going on and around, like their timings and all that are just so, so good. Their game sense is top notch. Simple's going to get that frag every day of the week. Obviously a good rotate from Simple here, knowing that he has severely dented that A prong of the attack and so... Good chance they end up trying to go back to B. And it also just makes sense, like, a lot of teams are just going to try and not go where Simple is. I'm not sure if he failed that flash or not. So obviously 3v1 retake. No fuss here for Na'Vi. Amazing shot. I think he might have heard the footsteps, or if not, Boomich probably told him about the footsteps. So he swings there when Brokey's trying to reposition. <laughs> nice little touch, even though Boomich already has an AK there, but making sure that his teammates all pick up AKs. It's a nice touch. Oh, and obviously you've got to get the uh, opponent's AWP, like, you know. For maximum BM, you've got to be using, uh, got to be using Brokey's AWP, or whoever, whoever dropped him the AWP. Right, so I expect to switch up from Simple on the AWP now. I suspect he's not going to go and play apps again. Or he won't go play sort of that balcony angle. I suspect he'll do something slightly different with it. Or he'll, you know, just... Is he? He, he looks like he's going to go. No, okay, there you go. So he's going for uh, a mid-peak. Kind of a passive mid-peak. Carrigan knows this. A hundred percent Carrigan is playing for that angle. That's really, really good, actually, from Carrigan uh, and Brokey there. Carrigan baiting out the shot, and then Brokey there for the follow-up. Carrigan just runs um, Simple down. Brokey's there so that Simple can't just swing out onto Carrigan. Like, he hears Brokey shoot. He knows there's more people mid there. And then Carrigan can just run him down. That's really good. I think Carrigan was ready for that. Like, he was playing for that angle that Simple was on. So, I'm not sure if that's anti striking or what, but... Good stuff from Carrigan. Uh, FaZe get the bomb down, get a lot of guns out. It's a good round from FaZe in terms of the economy. Um, it dents Na'Vi's and gets them the bomb down, so they have a really nice buy this round. But it's not, like, crazy. It's nothing mental. Like, if you're demo reviewing that as Na'Vi, you don't think too hard about that. Now Simple going for the B play. Uh, what are FaZe is simping up in a sim uh, setting up, sorry, simping. They're setting up in a simple 3-2. Uh, Not testing this banana angle. I like this off angle that's being taken. Oh, wow. And FaZe Molly. That's amazing. I suspect FaZe are going to go A fairly quickly off this. Because they've taken away basically all information on B. And before Na'Vi can regain information, I suspect FaZe are going to try and play pretty fast towards A. Yeah, it looks like they're going to go for an apps pop. Yep, yeah, so they're going to pop three out apps. Yeah. It's because they've taken away all the info, and now Na'Vi have just regained the info on Banana, so now Na'Vi are rotating. Yeah, this is really nice round from FaZe, actually. Like, really, really, really cool. Yeah, the utility they threw on B just dragged, like, everyone away. And this, this round's over. That was a really, really clean round from FaZe. That's all you got to just watch the minimap there. Um, but what they basically do is they basically take away all the information from Na'Vi on B, and then they start slowly working up mid, slowly working through apps, and then just when Na'Vi are going to be retaking this banana info, that's when they explode apps, that's when they explode out mid, and you saw Na'Vi were, like, partway through rotating by the time, um, yeah, by the time they figured out what was going on, or by the time the hit comes in, sorry. So, yeah, good, really good round from FaZe, honestly, really, really nice two-sided round there. Right, what are we going to see now from Simple? Straight out mid-peak. Just a traditional mid of peaking ham. mid of peaking ham. 
Yeah, it's a tough shot to hit. All that's showing is Carrigan's head, and Simple can't really repeat that. Navi get uh, a free pick from Utility. It's going to happen on Inferno occasionally. CT nades are going to blow you up. Or even if you're a CT, T nades are going to blow you up. It'll happen every now and then. Simple pretty aggro. Info now on apps. He knows at least someone's in apps. But the way FaZe have been playing, they've taken apps control pretty much every round. So I assume Na'Vi are going to know those tendencies anyway. And re-aggressing late round into apps isn't that amazing. Unless you can get the mid info from it. But So it's not a bad part of the map to kind of take early and then fall back from. Yeah, this is probably going to turn into an A hit. Um, I think Twist will probably just come and join his team. Yeah, he's just making sure nobody's taking too much banana info. But Na'Vi are creeping a little bit closer to banana. I think they might want to take it. Ah, uh, Olaf doesn't check bit. Fair enough. Still looks like it's going to be the A finish. Uh, why is now Carrigan? I don't know. I guess they're just checking banana to make sure no one pushed. I think they were hoping Na'Vi were going to push banana at some point and they were going to catch someone. Didn't happen though. And now this is just Dunzo. Great play. And, and like I say, oh god, gets his head ripped off there. But like I was saying, like Simple, again, builds another like perfect picture of what's going on in the round. Like he's looking where the T's eventually come from. He knows the bit of the map that they don't really have any control over. Like they're not going B. Yeah, they might come up mid, but it's basically the attack has to come through mid and or apps. And so, yeah, just like I say, just Simple having a really good picture in his head of what's going on in the round. Makes life really easy for him. Obviously, he got his head ripped off by twists in the end, but not before he had done the damage he needed to do. So nothing really super crazy from Simple so far. Obviously, he's going to rotate on that. I think FaZe should go fast here. I think they need to go quickly. Mm, they slow it down. They've got not really any map control. I don't like slowing it down when they have no map control. I think they need to just go fast there and take the pick. There was a space and they've lost it. Obviously similar on the rotate when someone dies on B. They're going to just split 2-2 two -two here, Na'Vi, I think, and just try and go 3 for 2 on the hit and turn it into a 2v2 or... Th yeah, 2v2 retake. Maths. It's hard. So let's see what we got here. We need Perfecto to get one and Simple to get one, at least, to make this round interesting. There's Simples. There's Perfectos. And there's another from Simple. That's round done. Na'Vi should win this nine times out of ten. Ooh, double face. Simple survive. So that was really good from face to double face there. And it was very nicely coordinated. Unlucky not to get the frag. Yeah, but it still should be round done, though. though. I think Na'Vi have a decent idea. Well, I was going to say Na'Vi have a decent idea of where it's planted, but Electronic just mows the two down. They again, they tried to double face on the angle. They were kind of stuck in the same spot on the site. Um, just kind of unfortunate their face in the post plant didn't really have chance to get anywhere useful on the post plant. Right, let's see. Uh, Deagle Eco now from FaZe. The game is shifting in Na'Vi's favour. They're building up a bit of an economy now. They could take one on the chin for sure. Simple hits at 9 times out of 10. Uncharacteristic miss. It's not like the easiest shot in the world because he has to take it quite quickly. I actually really like that from Olof. So Simple knew that that was potentially coming. That's actually like... I'm going to just oh, pause that for a sec. So that was really cool. Simple takes that fight in middle, right? And FaZe know that they've just... Someone's just missed an orb shot down mid. They also, I think, are pretty certain he's not crossed back over towards boiler side. So they know the only way he can wrap back around and help the A site is by wrapping... Like, coming back past Arch. And so Olof is kind of looking for a timing, hoping to catch Simple. Problem is, Simple throws a nade there. Simple is ready for it as well. So it's just a little bit of, like... Olaf is hoping to catch a timing. Simple is aware that that is a likely play. Someone's going to try and catch him on that. Um, catch him on that timing. So, I like that a lot. That was just a nice little, like, you know, Olaf was big brain, Simple was big brain. They both kind of cancelled each other out. Just ends up being a straight up fight. Not the biggest fan of this position Simple's holding. Of course, he's just going to kill someone and make life super easy, but... 
I know it's kind of awkward for the guys coming out of abs to kill you, but if they just jump on the railing and kind of like get out wide a little bit, it's not that bad. Um, I'm just not the biggest fan of the angle. It's, it's quite a common angle now. Um, I don't mind playing it occasionally. It's it's fine. It's not inherently bad for Simple to play it there, for example. Um, but I don't, I, like you don't want to rely on that in a half. I think you use that angle like once, twice in a half. Go for the run boost. Oh no, they just put him up on the flower pots and he'll jump up. Yep, there you go, onto the roof. That's the thing, man. Simple takes these shots so fucking... He did see him, right? I think someone told him this, saw him on radar, potentially, because he paused. Of course, Simple goes for that audacious jump shot. What a fucking chad. Right, that was uh, important for FaZe to... Uh, here for... For Na'Vi to win. They have a humongous bank now. Can probably take two on the chin. Uh, and have some sort of rebuy going. FaZe really need to win this round. It's a loss bonus. I mean, they're okay on loss, like, on loss bonus. They'll be able to do some sort of like half buy next and then full buy the following. But they need to start putting some rounds on the board. I think we're Na'Vi going to run away with this. Early fight hit. Yeah, really easy. I'm not so sure about that. I'm not so sure why Rain was just kind of running up like a maniac. Um, I mean, like, unlucky in some sense the Simple's on that angle, because like I said, it's like the perfect angle to uh, fuck you up from, but... Faze have a chance in this round. If Perfecto dies, yeah, if Perfecto goes down, get nothing done. Definitely a chance in this round. Mm, I think Simple saw Brokey jumping then, so I think they know what angle Brokey's on. Well, I mean, that nade definitely tells you they know what angles Brokey's on. That's mad. That did so much damage. I think this should be a successful retake. They ought to smoke to smoke off Banana. Yeah, this should be a successful retake. Like, they know where Brokey is. How's he not dead? He's dead now. Yeah, I don't know, actually. Hard. Simple needs to kill Olaf. Nah, no way you're going to be ready for that angle. Or very unlikely you're gonna be ready for that angle. Alright, so that was an important one uh, for FaZe to not let this game get away from them. Like I say, Navi can take one on the chin though. They won't be able to take another because they lost all of their guns. So this. Mm, uh, FaZe can actually get a free round here if they win this one. Oh, yeah, this is good utility to section off simple here. Like, FaZe don't know that for certain, but. Mm, I think they need to go a little quicker there. They went a bit slow off that phase. They set up really nice utility, and then just... What? How's he not killed him? Did he hit the wall? I mean, he definitely hit the wall the second time. Amazing quick scope. Didn't even register that, that was a scope, but I'm pretty sure that was a quick scope. Um, yeah, okay, so phase went for then a wrap through CT, but I think Na'Vi were already aware that that was happening and had people rotating to deal with that CT wrap, so... I like the idea from FaZe. Um, I think they just needed to be a bit quicker on the mid-take. I think they took a, a couple of seconds too long to get up. Brackets there. I think they were just a little... Oh, a little bit slow. Simple looking down mid. FaZe's economy is fucked. It's in the bin. It's dog crap. Easy round for Na'Vi, this one. Yeah, we're just gonna skid that all through this one. Yeah, easy shot there. Looks like the bomb... Are they just hoping to get a bomb plant? Show B, get bomb plant. No, nope, Olaf is gonna go join up with his teammates now. And they are just gonna go B. I think that's half what they were looking for. Maybe catch a rotate, get the bomb down on A while the other show B. But this should just be mowed down. Yeah, and it is. Simple. Another very important buy for FaZe. FaZe... Again, kind of need to win this one. Otherwise, the half is going to... Whoops. Accidentally went to... Uh, Boomage. The half's going to get away from them, basically, if they're not uh, careful. Pretty aggro in mid. Haven't really done this all half, Na'Vi. Just takes a little peek there, simple. Sees if he can catch someone for free. Um, interesting that they're doing a hard rotate here. Ah, they're going to set simple up and then everyone else is going to go. Maybe not everyone else, but I think they're going to set simple up and, yeah, maybe everyone will rotate. I don't hate it. I think they know that FaZe are going to be on pretty poor utility, so actually a solo orb can get a lot done on this behold with such little utility. People are just going to have to walk into his, uh, his scope, which I think Twist is about to do. 
didn't even see that flick. It was so quick. Just literally didn't even see him flick down. Demo couldn't handle it. 128 ticks is not enough for Simple's reaction time. Yeah, they're just going to go for an A hit here. Simple's not going to get involved. Yeah. Right, so this should be a 10-5 half, probably 9-6. Players have got to deco this bad boy. Going for a <laughs> It's so funny when you eat a flashbang like that, especially when you set it up. You're like, shit! I look like a moron. Uh, right, Olof lurking in apps, but it's going to be... It's going to come up A. Oh, sorry, I kind of sped past that kill. Simple got rain, though. Pretty easy shot, just walk down to his scope. Yep, and now he knows what angle to get on. Because FaZe are stuck. Yeah. Oh wow, simple normally hits those. Okay. He's gotta do more here now because he let Bit die there really. And of course he's gonna get more done. Repeat again. Yeah, because he's a man! Of course he repeaks. Right. Last round of the first half. Yeah, this is pretty hard tech. Script up. Let's just skirt all the way through this bad boy. Are we done? Yeah. Cool. Oh, aggressive down mid. Oh, that flashbang's disconnected them though. Yeah, the flashbang disconnected simple so it's and electronic there, so simple couldn't really back up electronic. It's just unfortunate they ran to that flashbang. Haven't seen that thrown too many times this half, or Navi haven't. At least not from Simple's point of view, I haven't seen it. Um but they trade back, so it's all good. Simple knows he's got to get something done there. Um, kind of catches twists out in the middle of nowhere, really, in mid there. Um, there wasn't any utility sectioning Simple off, and they knew where Simple was. So, did they? Uh, actually, they might not have. I don't remember if they knew. Ooh, really unlucky not to see him there. Going to kill him, though. Probably going to need to run. Although I think FaZe have second-guessed themselves and don't want to run into Simple, so they're going to go back around to A. Yeah. Uh, they split Na'Vi up there, to be fair, so it's not a bad call, actually, to, to go back. They split the defense. Perfecto's going to backstab here, though. Yeah, that's the thing, though, man. Na'Vi is so perfect with that kind of thing. Just figuring out where the enemy are and then kind of, like, converging. And they're very confident in themselves and each other. Like, you know, knowing that each other's going to go for the backstab on the right timings and stuff. So it's really nice. And that's just generally sim how Simple plays. Like he, And this is something you guys can take away into your game to help improve. And it's something I think is pretty common at the lower um, ranks of matchmaking or face it or whatever. Is like just making sure you have an idea of what is going on in the round. So one really basic thing is knowing where your teammates are. Know what your teammates are watching. Where enemies can and therefore can't be. It's like, well, you know, someone can't be there because I know my teammates are watching it. Um, just checking your mini map to see where your teammates are, um, comming what you're watching, what you're not watching. Like if you're holding short A, for example, and you fall back to sight, let people know, let people know that someone could come up short. You know, I think doing that and helping yourself and your teammates, um, build a, a picture in their head of what's going on in the rounds is really important. And it's something that's simple and Nico, I've watched a few of their demos recently. Um, something they both do really, really well. They just build that mental picture in their head um, of what's going on. And it's like they've got a wall hack or a map hack sometimes. They're just always in the right angles, taking the right jewels. You know, Na'Vi as a team do it really well, particularly as well. But um, as players, Simple and Nico are, are really, really good for it. Just give Simple the P250, by the way. Like, they're doing it here. Um, you know, Na'Vi will do this all the time on T-side. Just like, he's the cleanest P250 player in the world. Just give him armor, give him a P250, and let him go nuts. Just do it. Just do it. Way better than the Zeus days of Na'Vi, when <laughs> you'd see Zeus on an AK and Simple on a Deagle, and you'd just be asking yourself, why? Like, I understand the slightly backwards logic of, oh, but Simple's really good with a Deagle. Yeah, but Zeus is crap. Just give Simple the AK. Like, Simple is much more likely to take over the whole round with an AK than he is with a Deagle. But we're, we're done. Those days are over. Ooh, goose through the wall or through the box? Unsure. One or t'other. 
But yeah, they're just going to peace out on that. They've shown, they've given FaZe something to think about, but FaZe is stacking, so they're running into the stack here. Um, not much now of V can do there. Maybe they could have hung around B a little bit more, but it's tough to take jewels in that Joe's choke points. It's really easy for USP to tap you. I don't think Simple's going to clear Brokey here. He's not making it look like he has any idea what's going on. Yep, so the gamble stack pays off for FaZe. Um, it's just that. It's literally just a gamble stack. There's no, like, um, no big brain to it or anything. And are we going to get through the gamble stack anyway? Yep. Well, wow, that's so sad. Yeah, Rain has no chance. Yeah. Wow, that's so sad. They got through the gamble stack. Yeah, FaZe should win that round. Not really good enough to lose that round. When Na'Vi walk into your gamble stack and Rain was so quick on the rotate, you've got to do better than that. Like, you, you, you can't lose that round as cleanly as they did. Looks like we're going to get a pretty fast top banana take. Simple's going to throw some sweet flashbangs. Yeah, that's pushed Rain all the way back. Na'Vi take B with very little investment. Uh, or take B, take banana, sorry. Simple playing anti-flash. Looks like it's going to be a fairly early B hit. Oh, nope. They're walking away now. Just as I say that, they walk away and they look for A again. They're going to walk into a stack again here. Getting red like a book by Carrigan here. Yeah, they're going to walk into another stack. And Brain's already on the rotate. This could get hairy, Manali. Oh, especially the damage. Damn. And Orc is the oak tree. Perfecto trades out Carrigan. Carrigan. Not a bad play to try and come through that smoke, but maybe considering they've got the opening pick, chill. Good call from Na'Vi, though, to run away because um, Faye's going to be rotating. I don't think Brokey's going to be able to help Brain here with the smoke going down. Brokey might if he absolutely legs it to Graveyard. That's why Brokey's knifing it to Graveyard to try and help. Probably should have saved Sim... Should have killed Simple there, Brokey. Mm, yeah, that's unfortunate. Face Clan should still win this round, but they should have probably already won it, to be honest. Not the biggest fan of Kangan going through the smoke. It's not the end of the world. Like, it's definitely not objectively a terrible idea, but I personally don't think it's the right play. Um, and then there, I think Brokey should really kill Simple. Mm, they see my boomerches. I don't know where Simple is. Really important of Simple to get that kill. No way. That's so good, bro. Damn, that was so, so good. Just perfectly played that angle. Like, just jiggled out, caught all off, made sure to kill him instantly with the Mac 10 as well. Just like triple, double dinked him, whatever. And then, yeah, just really, really perfect timing on the swing on Twist there. That's so good. It was the instant Twist's head was available to shoot at as well. He shot. I think if. I don't think they knew how low Simple was. I think if Twist knows how low Simple is, he probably just kills him there. Just like. Just literally walks around the corner pre-fire spraying and kills him simple aware of this even while still partially blind oh gets tapped by brokey there though and uh, repeats like a freaking man man on six hp you don't give a fuck now should be a pretty straightforward round for navi here um well, are we going to get the B finish? No, they're chilling out for a bit. They got loads of time. They got enough control of the map because they got all of Banana. Um, and FaZe can't really have pushed mid. They might have pushed into apps. But even now, Na'Vi are making sure that that's not the case. Yeah, they're just going to walk into the free bomb site. Yeah, they sack Perfecto at A for the info. And then they just get the free bomb site on B in this game. Simple just staying well out of the way there, making sure his AK doesn't go down. I didn't see or no, his armor's fine. Default spread for Navi. Fairly straightforward. Looks like they're gonna try and take some aggressive bracket control. Some nice just an early bracket take. Ooh, Olaf rips Simple's head off though. Nasty. Uh still like a force slash crap buy. Uh, it's not a force, sorry. Um Twist and Rain carried there. MP9's over. So this should still be an army round. Oh, no. It's not going to be. Wow. Okay, Na'Vi probably still should have won that round. So, um, kind of sacked one away there. We didn't look at it too carefully. So, I don't know exactly where it rolled. But, 
definitely should have been an RV1 round. But we're looking, it's a simple demo review, right? Like, you know, not analyzing all of Na'Vi's gameplay. So they've lost the pick here on Banan. Rough round. Uh, it looks like they're going to group up bottom of Banana. Bit is holding map control towards apps. They're going to work Banana slow. Nice and slow. Simple will be the tip of the spear. So they've gone nice and silent phase. Don't know what's going on here. If Na'Vi can get onto this B site, it's actually... I think Na'Vi might go through this smoke. No, okay. I thought they might consider going through it. They only saw one their phase, so they didn't really get any useful info. They just know somebody was poking around B, looking for a bit of information. Okay, I expect they'll go through this smoke, though. Come on, surely you're going to go through this smoke here, guys. You've got no map control. 30 seconds. Yeah, they have to go through this. Oh, simple takes a lot of space there. I think did brokey see him or hear him brokey knows that's for sure I'm gonna pre-fire this yeah nothing simple can do there looks like how's this round gonna go uh okay we'll uh we'll jump out of simple's body to actually check this one out electronic yeah once electronic kills all off this is a really hard retake banana's not a problem now this is so hard bits position is busted as fuck now yeah this is a really hard retake once banana's not a problem, this uh, barbecue position that bits in is so broken. You have right eye advantage on anyone swinging you from CT, and it's so hard for people to swing out and take that jaw because you can have a headshot angle by crouching. Such a busted position uh, in that kind of scenario. All right, what am I doing? There we go. Back on simple. The, I don't really like simple T side orping on a side like Inferno. He's so good with the AK. I wouldn't bother putting the AWP in his hands unless you need it for a switch up. Like if you want to switch things up. But I would probably start with a default as simple on a rifle on something like T side Inferno. Simple throwing some utility for his teammates because he's a great guy. Rain dies. Ooh, rain though. Rain's been really good with some of these openings on B. On some of these CT rounds, like some of the success that um, Faze has had has pretty much been really good at simple to take all that space. I don't know what Brokey's doing there. Kind of just inting it there, Brokey. Huh? What was that? He didn't see anything. That was sus as fuck. Jesus. I think I was just a pre-fire through the smoke. Pre-fire, whatever you want to call it. Run He's going to kill all of here, surely, isn't he? So close. Yeah, of course he's going to kill him. Of course he will. After that ridiculously dodgy looking smoke shot on twist. And yeah, this game's done. Uh, FaZe have a garbage buy. Couple of rifles, couple of deagles. Managed to squeeze three Famases out. Not much utility, which sucks on Inferno. You really want to have full utility on Inferno. This map is absolutely gob. Very large to play with uh, no util. Um, right, what are we seeing? Default spread from Narvi. Nothing fancy. Oh, rain again. Rain again with the opener, man. Rain has been so good with these openers. Phase, I think, have kind of just crumbled on this CT side, but I think with, it feels like a couple of rounds, uh, Reigns had a good time with Banana, and they just haven't been able to convert. Just not been able to convert at all. They've definitely struggled sacking a few deaths to individual mistakes, where somebody just does something dumb, like, broke in that last round. Wait, how does he know he's there? He just walked by Goloff. Dude, simple. Relax, bro. Yep, just gonna throw a smoke for yep for lane. That's that's a lane smoke, right? I'm not dumb. I could be dumb. Yeah, I think that's landing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna go back to B. Mm. It with the information that Navi have had, it's not a bad call. Yeah, they're second guessing themselves because the smoke just went down on B. I think. I don't really like Harrigan 
kind of just hanging around where he's not going to do anything. Okay, I like him getting an arch and actually being able to be a part of this A defense. Him just sort of wandering around in CT between the two was not what... Oh, Carrigan probably needs to get something done there. I didn't see what angle he was fighting on, but... Oh, a couple of whiffs. A couple of whiffs. There we go, Simple gets one. Simple gets two. Oh, is he going to get three? Oh, that would have been a really clean way to close the round out. Uh, uh, who's going to win this? Obviously, you back... Oh, my God, Carrigan Maniac. You back Electronic here, but... Oh, yeah, has a slight advantage. Out in the open, but had the HP advantage. Actually, really well played from Carrigan there, to be honest. So, it keeps the game alive for at least one more round. Now we can buy, no worries. Oh, actually, they did have to take a hit. Boomich on the techers. Where's Boomich going to sack himself? He's going to rush like a maniac somewhere at some point. 100%. Boomich will just run like an absolute baboon. Is it going to be B? I almost oh, God, I'm still on electronic. It's alright, it's alright, we fixed it. We fixed it. Simple. Yeah, Boomich is going to run out and sack himself for Simple. He's going to be Simple's footstool. That's what's going to happen. He's going to boost. They're going to boost over half all here for Simple. He's going to be his footstool. Yeah, see? So predictable. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They're going to work the banana control. I think FaZe have probably given this up a bit too much. I think they needed to be a bit more aggressive at certain times on top banana. Because when they have, it's worked really well with Rain. But they've just kind of fallen back and then left it. Like, the couple of times Rain did get kills... It seemed like they just gave it up. They were like, cool, we got the kill, let's let's leave. I think they've needed to be a little bit more aggressive and re-aggressive. Yeah, Boomich is... Uh, oh, he's getting ready. You see, he wants to. He wants to just go ten toes on the road. Just... Brrr, speed around the corner. Yes, Boomich go brr. Come on, Boomich go brr. Boomich go brr. Yeah, through the smoke, baby. Boomich go brr. Boomich go brr. Okay, it's not worth it, but... Oh my god, and then Navi make it work. Oh, well played by Carrigan, though. Oh, well played by Perfecto to trade. Oh, this is a rough 2v2 because FaZe are coming from the same angle. Bit is in dark. Perfecto is going to cross to Banana. Yeah, this is a really tough crossfire to break. Perfecto is going to clear Banana here and confirm that it's not, a, not anything to be worried about. Yeah, there you go. He's cleared it just now. Yeah, it's round done. Perfecto clearing Banana there means round's over. I don't like them both coming from the same angle here. Yeah, that's mm, that's sus as hell. I'm not not a big fan of them coming from the same angle there. I think they need to split one graveyard. They just have to. They have to just have two angles on the site. I don't I don't understand what their thought process is in a 2v2 doing that. Like if it's a 2v1, then yeah, sit together and make sure you trade it out, but I don't know. Mm. Anyway. So that's that guys, hope you enjoyed, you know the drill, like, comment, favourite and subscribe, and if you didn't, 